Hey, what is up guys? Um, I'm gonna be testing out some stuff in Cinema 4D R19, uh, mostly dealing with the viewport and some of the changes that have happened there and how this is gonna hopefully help the stuff that I'm working on, which is pre-visualizing lighting and camera work for real world shoots. So above us, we have a softbox and this is actually using, if we go into here, this is using the new PBR light, sort of, that has a uh, show as a solid and viewport that's new. And I have it constrained just like their new PBR light works, uh, same way. But that's not what we're really going to be looking at. I want to look at the new viewport changes. So I hit Shift V for this top viewport, and we see that right now we have reflections, which was kind of new. So if I turn those off, let's see if it updates. Yeah, so you can see that the reflections there went away uh, in the car. So it's just the diffuse light. If I turn them back on right now, they'll come back eventually. There they are. And they are interactive and it does ship, or when you when you use Cinema 4D for the first time, it's going to have some default like exterior reflection that you can use. And that's kind of helpful, but for in a studio like this, I just made the reflection actually black. This is just a black file inside of there and then you can rotate it. So you're essentially getting like, um, kind of like a fake HDRI environment in the reflections here and you can spin around the HDRI and all that sort of stuff here and then um, there's some other things happening that I don't really know what those are. You can preview depth of field, but I'll do that in a different video to kind of show that off. Um, but what we're going to have turned on here is screen space local reflections. So more or less we have reflections from like the floor in the car, so not just the light source. Um, so let's check this softbox out. Again, it's just a big softbox. That's a text message. I should probably silence my phone when I'm making these videos. Um, if I move the softbox over here, check out the reflections changing in the car. So it's not just the diffuse light. Um, you can actually see the reflection of the source in the car. And that's, that's really helpful, especially for lighting cars like this, because this is all you're really chasing when you're lighting cars are these reflections. So as I move the softbox towards the camera, you can see the reflection on the top of the window kind of coming in and out. And if you're doing it, going for a shot like this, this will just highlight the, uh, the what's this thing called i forget this is there's some name for the top of this car uh part there it's been a while since i've 3d modeled cars and this is how you light car commercials actually uh is doing this kind of stuff and you can have it animate too so if you wanted to animate a line of light moving across a car you would move a softbox like this or more likely you would put the softbox above it and then animate the lights inside of it that sort of thing so uh, this is just a quick demo. It was a test I wanted to do. I wanted to do for myself, and just to check out the screen space reflections, and also just check out the reflections that are now in the viewport. I think they had this in R17 or R18, but I didn't get R18. R18. I went from R17 to R19, and this is just some of my first tests, checking out the reflections. And if you go and do, if you go and do a render of this, which I won't do for this video. Um, you will get something very, very similar to these reflections. So that's nice. So you don't have to use an IPR. Um, of course, if you're using Octane or any GPU solution, you can just be viewing down here in the actual uh, IPR render view. But in this case, we're just using Cinema 40's viewport, uh, which is going to be accelerated by both AMD and um, I believe NVIDIA CUDA cores at the same time. Or not at the same time, you, you can use both. And I'm using a MacBook Pro late 2013 Pretty old, and this is running uh, relatively well. The thing that's really slowing it down are the shadows. I have real-time shadows enabled, which I actually aren't doing very much. Uh, if I go down here, and I turned off shadows there, and I turn off shadows here, uh, this will perform much faster, you can see. But I like having the shadows. It kind of shows me a little bit more information. But this is how you would light a car in real life, uh, in a car studio with a 40 by 10 Fisher light or softbox, whatever you want to call it. And you would be basically moving this whole thing around and, and changing the reflections up. Oh, I kind of lost it there. Um, but that is my first look and demo for the YouTube channel on R19's reflections and screen space reflections. And I'll be doing more demos as well and then outright just tutorials and that sort of thing. But I wanted to make this video really quickly. I'm not even going to edit it. It's going directly from screen recording to YouTube, which I don't normally do. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll check you guys later.